hey ya! Uh, been a while since I did a little video update. And uh, since my last update, I have been shopping. Went and picked up a couple of sturdy bookshelves from IKEA to uh, set up more tanks. And this is my new reef tank that I'm currently working on. I basically filled it with uh, dead live rock that I used to, or live rock that used to come from this tank a couple of years ago when it crashed. So I'm using that to begin anew. And right now it's, yeah, not so pleasant. It's, it's in the process of cycling. <laughs> Boy, this stuff stinks, ammonia. Uh, and there you can see the remains of my Montipora colony I once had. So... Yeah, the plan is to have uh, two aquariums here. This one, and I'm gonna get another one to put here. And on there is going to be this lamp. Or to span it across both. This is the light I re originally bought for my piranha, who didn't like it too much, which is why I have a lower light fluorescent here. And yes, I know that his tank is overdue for a water change and cleaning. It's on my to do list for tomorrow. But uh, as you can see, for the time being, I have found other use for this light. Kind of overkill though, but healthy growth. And say hello to these guys again. Just done a water change, I'm fighting a bit of cyanobacteria trouble. Which I'm trying to get under control. And that's what I really, really like with salt water tanks. They don't have the same problems with cyanobacteria as freshwater tanks do. So I'm probably looking at most of my freshwater tanks of getting some kind of a refugium or something with a deep sand bed. So that I can get things under control. And this log is leaching a lot of tannins. But seems to be okay. Here's another little project here that is going pretty well. So as I clear off junk. Yeah, this is my project for a Java moss carpet. And as you can see, it's starting to come through the mesh here finally. So maybe a month or two and I will have finally have enough growth to properly set things up here. Oh yeah, and I don't think I mentioned but I have, uh, or if you have been following any of my previous videos you may see that I have completely re -aquascaped. I decided that I really didn't want a future of the star polyps be inhabiting the whole tank. So I removed the two top rocks and to let the star polyps grow there in peace. Along with my Hydnopora who likes giving them an occasional wallop. So this is my SPS island and a couple of shrooms here and there but I have my bird's nest up top here along with my Monty and I have a couple of bird's nest fragments scattered here and there as well as, oh come on, a pink bird's nest fragment here which won't come properly into focus. And that's one of my mushrooms, and this is a... I need to clean the glass from all the salt creep and splash. But yeah, it's a Monty fragment. Oh, my hammer coral is doing just peachy. All of my brain's being stubborn. Sorry shape, but it's starting to make a slow recovery. So, that about wraps it up. Thanks for watching.